Hey, what is up? In this video, I'm going to be checking out this new game animation sample, aka the motion matching uh, demo that we saw from GDC and probably from other places. So I'm using, obviously, uh, MetaHuman here, and uh, I thought that I would add in my work brand techware outfit that is available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace, mostly because it has this chaos cloth uh, straps on it, very techware style, cyberpunky kind of vibe going on here. And I thought it would be cool to have him run around. So the demo's uh, pretty simple as far as like what's in this level. Maybe there's more and I haven't seen it. We have something that will change the style of the uh, of the level. It's kind of fun. I'm going to keep it dark. It's kind of matching the clothes here. And there's a couple widgets here that pop up that um, kind of show the controls and has a readme. Uh, the one that's interesting to me is that um, in 5.5 five, it says sprinting and crouch is coming. So they haven't... Uh, added that in yet so there's no there's no sprinting uh, if i hit middle mouse button we're gonna go into um strafe mode and i thought it would just be cool to see, see some of the animation so here's running forward we're gonna stop you know i'm gonna go back to like the uh the good old u here i'll just run through this a bunch of times so we're gonna run forward accelerate stop decelerate actually i didn't kind of did that funny we're gonna run backwards and stop Man, the, the, the stopping animations are awesome. We're going to run left, stop, decelerate, kind of like replace your feet. The landing animations are so good. It feels like so alive. Going to go into some diagonals, another diagonal, diagonal stop, back diagonal, another back diagonal to switch to back. Pretty awesome. Uh, going to jump forward, jump backwards. Well, jump backwards has like a real different one. Going to jump sideways. Gonna jump sideways. Yeah, so the, the jumps are different depending on which way you're going. I like the backwards one. Let's jump diagonal. Interesting. I can't quite sense the blend that's happening there. I guess it's not a blend. It's motion matching, which I haven't really learned what that really means yet. But So now I'm going to hit uh, middle mouse button, and we're centered, and we can run towards camera. And there's nothing better to do when you get to this mode, like in Zelda or something like that. It's just to kind of figure out how tight a, tight a circle you can do. I am using a keyboard, so it's not as like... Uh, degenerate of circles as you could do if we were using controller um so are these side to side animations different they definitely are like he's like running forward the whole time right that's what's going on so it's like that's like the full uh pivot right there that like what 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 foot is it it's his uh his right foot goes forward and pivots so you're you're basically getting the same one every time right like right foot pivot right foot pivot so pretty pretty awesome the only other thing is that you can hold right click and it kind of turns into a, um, that kind of like turns you back into, um, strafe mode from here. So we can go from like, wait, am I, I'm strafe again. Oh, okay. So if I, if I hold right click, it switches me back to uh, strafe mode. So, and you zoom in a little bit, but we don't have any guns or anything. So look at some of like the uh, parkour here. We just kind of jump and he just like jumps up there. I'm not sure what the idea is with this and like how it does it. I'm sure that's in the sample somewhere, like the code for that. But it seems like at one meter, if you jump, you're going to do this like in the hand on the thing and vault up there. Let's go on to course two here. We're at 2.5 meters, which is some threshold of maybe that's like the how high you can like, like vault up to it. Big jump. And then we're going to do a big fall. Uh, there's a bigger fall coming up too. So we'll see if I guess if it's different. Going to jump, jump, spin, jump. Uh, I've seen people do this way better than me. <laughs> and we're vaulting up here. I'm going to do a huge jump to the ground. Bam. That's a really satisfying land animation. These are great. Uh, let's run through this course here. Blam. One meter. 2.5 meter. That's the vault we all love and are familiar with. Big jump. And I always miss that because there's no sprint. And, you know, that's uh, that's me. I guess I'm not quite the gamer I uh, I used to be. So let's just run at the camera as I jump here. Jumping our way down here. I do regret the way I rigged the collar on this character. I think that could be revised in the future. Let's go to the last one. Okay, so I could never make this. I have never made it to the end. Or I made, maybe I made it to the end once. So here's its stock. I, I'm not making it, okay? But we, you know, we, we've seen the animations. That's all it is. I just want to see, like, hey, how does MetaHuman look in this? It looks, it looks incredible. Do my clothing work? They do. So, you know, if I... Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh GG's. Um, but pretty cool. They made this obstacle course a little bit too hard for me. I can't, I, I can't make it. Oh, should I walk? I think if I hold control, it turns into a walk. Oh, 
okay, I'm not used to that. But okay, so now we're walking. That's certainly worth looking at actually too, because this is mostly like an animation demo for me. So here's the walking animation. Turning around. Okay, so when we like are walking, there's no like strong pivots or anything like that. Um but I would love to use these walking animations like for my game where metahumans are just like walking around. Um, that's kind of my hope. I don't know how expensive it is to have like multiple metahumans running. Um, this is motion matching set here, but we'll find out. So I wonder if I can make this jump now. I'm definitely not making that jump if I'm walking. So I'm going to hit control and we're going to go for a... Okay. This one, I mean, what do you think? Like, I feel like this is full sprint and we jump, like, a little early. Like, now. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. So, I feel like... I feel like we're, like, just jumping right for that last one. But maybe that's not the idea. I feel like if I just walk off of this, we're going to make it. You know what I mean? To this one, to this lower platform. Let's fucking do it. Oh, my God. We're, we're making it. Okay, so this is just, like, a YOLO. We just, we just go as soon as we... We just jump as soon as we can. Easy. Okay, so that's real far. So this one is like the big jump. I've never made it this far, so I'm feeling good. The nudging forward, you know, it's better than the mannequin. And we're going. Oh, I didn't jump. And what a, what a failure this has been. Let's head to the project, though. Let's get my DPI back. So this project is obviously like very new and a lot of tech, and I have no idea what's going on. Um, but what I've discovered so far is we go into here and we've got audio blueprints character input prototyping levels metahumans my clothing the work brand tech wear and widgets so to start i was like oh cool like how do i get a metahuman in here and there's echo from the old demo paragon mannequins and they got the the fortnite uh, mannequin here and the metahumans are in their metahumans folder, but these are like slightly different. Like something's like slightly different about these. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's a UAFN ones. I can't, I can't tell. But some of the shaders are a little different. They're like slightly, slightly different, but not a huge deal. Um, I wasn't actually able to figure out where the animations are. I'm on Twitter trying to figure that out. I also don't know how these work at all. But what I did find, however, was in the blueprints, this is our uh, animation blueprints. And this is our pawn. So it's between these two things, like really what's going on. And all I did was change our uh, game mode to be the metahuman Kellen here and compile that. And that's how we're going to switch to our pawn. And you can just switch between any of these characters. And I went and just basically dressed up uh, this pre-med metahuman with, um, oh my God, my uh, work brand clothing. So I just added a bunch of like custom clothing to it. And uh, chuck them all in the uh, master pose construction script. And these are all preset up to do chaos physics, like automatically. At least the straps are the, the rest of the rest of the outfit doesn't. So that's how easy it is to like switch your switch your clothing and check them out here. Um so getting back to this though, so like these are already pre-retargeted, which I'm not a hundred percent a hundred percent sure how this is working. Uh, I don't do much runtime retargeting, so you know, not much to say there. Uh, something I have to kind of look into. But the real meat of this comes in um, right here. So it's between this pawn, which we see sort of like the enhanced input setup. And there's a lot of comments. Even a montage, really? I don't I don't know what that is. Perform what? Traverse action. Wow. So I do not know how to set animation blueprints up like this or um, locomotion systems like this. Like I would use ALS or... Try to copy Lyra, but Lyra is like insane, to be honest. Uh, there's a motion warping component. So this is just like a quick overview. I'm still just like getting the lay of the land, like big high level. But the main thing that's going on here is this animation blueprint, which is this. So this is like the real sauce. We're in the animation graph and it's the motion matching node. And oh boy, how come there's no database? I think there is one, but it's like not showing. I'm not sure. But... Uh, I'm going to slowly go through this myself and just kind of look at it. We see that like everything's like very um, broken into modules, right? Or literally nodes. So we have motion matching. Oh God, now it's broken. I broke it. Um, additive lean. I have no idea how they... <laughs> I guess it's just an additive. I don't know what's triggering these to, to actually do that. An aim offset. 
a uh, little montage node perhaps into an experimental root bone. I have no idea what that means. And then again, a leg IK, which I think is like in most of the most of the default animations. And pose history. Wow. There's a lot in here. It doesn't look as overwhelming as Lyra. My constant feedback for Lyra has been like, how in the world is anyone supposed to use this? It's I think I find it incredibly complicated to use Lyra. Um, the way they have it set up. So this seems slightly chiller than that. Um, I think there's still a lot going on, obviously, and like the training of the mo uh, the training for the motion capture into um, the motion matching system. I I don't know how that works, but um, it does look like it's less nodes at least, and it doesn't look like it's as spread out all over the project. I could be wrong. What are we doing? Set references. Interesting into if there's a valid character probably update essentials trajectory states wow oh boy so i am not going to try to understand this today um i'm just interested to see like how did metahumans look they look incredible it's certainly worth the time to figure out how this works but then the next question is how easy is it to copy and paste this into an actual project like the one i'm producing and some other ones i have in mind um it's definitely smaller than Lyra, but it's still a lot going on. And I was talking to a couple of people on Twitter about it, and there's a lot of new tech and plugins required to do this. And they're all like experimental phase. So it's probably a little early to try to like actually use this, but I mean, the results are pretty incredible. So that is going to wrap it up for this um, first look here. Uh, really, I just wanted to see how the animations look on a metahuman. And specifically on like clothing I've authored is like, do I have to do anything? Like, how's it, you know, do I have to do anything funny to get this to work? And happy for me that I think probably all my metahuman clothing are working fine. And yeah, these are, I mean, this is like the new way of testing my metahuman clothing for sure is going to be in this map. Maybe I'll dress it up or do something, something fun for it. But I imagine, you know, I want to go check out some new clothing for a metahuman, right? Like, how, do the, how does it handle this? Because like, this is very active, right? And so... All the secondary animation, the chaos physics and stuff. So doing some cloth, uh, the new cloth asset workflow with this animation set, this is going to be like, it's not really animation set, I suppose, but that is going to be super fun. Anyway, that wraps it up. I'll check you out in the next video. Peace.